Now let us look at how to create simple objects here in the Houdini interface. The most easiest way to create an object in the interface is on the create tab here at the top. By clicking on any of the objects here in the create tab, I get a bounding box in the 3D view which lets me position the particular object anywhere in the scene. By clicking with my mouse, I position it at that location. Apart from that, if I want to create the object directly at the origin of my construction plane, I can control click on the object and it directly gets created at the center. Now using my manipulator tool, I can move the object and rotate it to wherever I want to. Apart from this, you'll also observe that every time I create an object, I'm creating specific nodes here in my network view. These nodes actually represent the different objects and as you can see, by clicking on the objects here in the network view, I also select them in the viewport. Now, also, anytime I actually create an object, I also get additional parameters of the object here at the top. I can change the different elements of the object on how the object is actually being created right here in the top and choose a different settings I want to. Now for creating objects, let's see how to create them off the construction plane. When I'm clicking on any of the objects here, you can see that I get a bounding box which represents where the object gets created. If I hold shift key on my keyboard and move my mouse, you can see the object gets displaced from the construction plane and now I'm offsetting the object and still get to place it wherever I want in the scene but this time I get to position it in exact three dimensions rather than only on the construction plane. Now finally in the 3D view, let's see how to go ahead and edit the construction plane itself because most times you might want to have a smaller or larger construction plane. To do this, open the camera menu here at the top right corner. Here enable the construction plane handle. When you enable this, you get additional gizmos here in the viewport. Make sure you are in the manipulator handle tool. If you are in any other tool, the construction handles are grayed out. Now you can go ahead and pull out the construction plane and edit the entire settings. You can also move it using the movement handles in the center and also go ahead and rotate the entire construction plane. Once you have done all of these edits, you can go ahead and create an object and this time the object gets placed on the construction plane itself which is no longer aligned to the world axis. Finally, if you want to go ahead and reset the construction plane, you can go under the same menu down under the set construction plane, as you can see you have several options here. I'll go ahead and just select revert to defaults. Once I click this, my construction plane is back to defaults. I'll go back and tell turn off construction plane handle and I'm back to the way it was. There are a few other ways of creating objects within Houdini. The other easiest method of creating objects is right here in the 3D view itself. You can go ahead and press tab and this will open a small tab menu where you can start typing in the object you want to create. Let's say I want to create the box so by typing in the word box it auto completes and gives me the option to create a box. By pressing enter you can see I can easily create it right here without going into my create shelf. Apart from that, similarly, even when I'm in the network view, I can go ahead, press tab anywhere in the empty region and go ahead, select any of the primitives I want to create or so many other elements which are available. Every single node that you create in Houdini comes with additional flags on both ends of the node. On this particular box node we have created, you can see the green and the blue flag. The blue flag signifies whether or not an object is actually visible. So if I go ahead and zoom into the viewport and disable this blue flag, you can see the object is no longer visible but it can still be manipulated. So I've just moved the box while it was invisible and if I enable the view, you can see it's displaced. Also, in another way, if I tell that the object is no longer selectable, I can no longer select the object here in the 3D view. To observe this, let me create another primitive. I'll just create the spear. Now if I go ahead and try to select the cube, you can see that I can no longer do so. But by clicking on the box object here, I can easily select it. Whereas by clicking on the spear, I can select that. So this is a selection handle which tells an object is templated and this is the display flag which tells whether if an object is hidden. So that brings us to the end of this particular video. Here we saw the basics of creating and manipulating objects. In the next video, I'll walk you through the basics of using expressions in Houdini. 
If you have any critics, comments or doubts about these videos, you can go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll do whatever I can to help you. If you found my material useful, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.